In this video, I will be showing you how to create this exact animation of boat generating some waves in water. So let's get started. First start by deleting the default cube. Then we will add our boat. I will provide the link in the description for this object file. Select object and then navigate to the folder that uh, contains your object file import that now it's too big we have to scale it down rotate it on x axis minus 90 degrees now add a plane scale it up Now see that the plane should be right above, right below the boat. I think that's good. Now go to edit mode by pressing tab and make sure all of the plane is selected by pressing A and subdivide it. More geometry will give more smoother waves. Then go to the physics tab and add a dynamic paint. Set it to canvas and add canvas. In the surface type, select waves. Now select your boat and dynamic paint, and now select brush add brush now we have to give some material so to give water like material we have to add a glass material with about 0.1 roughness and a darker color you can also give some material to your boat I will give it more darker color now uh, first apply shade smooth on the plane now when we play the animation you can see the waves generating now we have to animate the boat select the boat and on keyframe 1 select press i and select location rotation now on keyframe 40 move your boat to your desired place i will also rotate it a little bit on z axis and press I again and location rotation now on frame 80 I will move my boat again this time here and rotate it this much on Z axis and press I and location rotation again now we can see three key keyframes had been added now when we play the animation you can see that waves are being generated now we want our animation to be 120 frames long or it depends on your choice set the end keyframe value to 120 and also for the canvas select the end value to 120 click on open borders and on cache first you have to save your project so control s save your project and in cache select bake it will take some time depending on the 
speed of your computer now we have to give some uh, material to the surrounding so go to the world properties and select environment texture we have to add an HDR image open I have this HDR image and I the link will be provided in the description you can download it for free import now when I press Z and go to render view I can see the HDR material it gives some extra lightning but we need transparent video so go to the render properties and in film section select transparent this will make the surrounding transparent but will the but our water will still reflect the HDR lightning and that exact, that's exactly what you want now select camera zoom in a little and press N and lock the camera to view press N again now you can see that camera is not catching the scenes that are at some distance so we have to fix that so select your camera and go to this camera button and for end value set, set it to 1000 now it has some the problem now select your camera position from where you want the animation to be viewed let's play the animation first I think this position will be alright go to solid view save your project and uh, for output video make sure that you have selected eaves because it's much faster than cycles set the render value to 100 and in scene settings select AVI JPEG and call it 200 the video will be saved in this folder you can also change this folder by clicking here and selecting your folder now you have to press render animation that's all that will do the job thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe